had your, you had an interception, you had a forced fumble, you were flying over the field. What did you feel like helped lock, lock in on, on this performance? Did you feel like the linebackers as a collective maybe played their best game this season? Um, well, sometimes, you know, the play definitely came to me, but the interception, you know, we ran those plays like probably four times during practice this week. So as soon as I saw, uh, you know, one, do a drag, or two, stepping in, I already knew he was going to do a cross. I uh, caught up to him when I was beat a little bit, you know, he crossed out. I mean, the quarterback rolled out. He felt like the window was open. I caught up to him, caught the pick right there. Um, early in the game, I definitely missed a sack. I thought another one was going to come to me, it didn't come to me. So, you know, next time I get the opportunity, I got to be another sack. That's about it. How do you feel about the, your linebackers as a whole, like as far as how you guys have played? I know coaches have challenged you guys to step up in the run game. You like you did that today. Yeah, we definitely did do that today. Uh, they definitely had some big runs uh, from time to time, but you know, in terms of run game, what they had like uh, 60 rushing yards or something. Um, you know, so we beat the rushing goal. It was supposed to be over 100. Did they go over 100? You know, we definitely got some errors. Definitely cleaned up with the explosive plays they had time to time. You know, we was expecting them, well, not expecting them, but the goal was for them to not have a single explosive run. But we stopped everything to get no touchdowns, nothing. So. There's a couple times in the first half, I think the offense scored in like one or two plays. I mean, are you just used to it by now? How, like, how do you guys kind of embrace like having to go back on the field so quickly? I'll never be used to it. I'll be sitting <laughs> on the offense side. <laughs> like, I'm just thankful that I don't got to play against the offense in a real situation or a real game because the offense is the biggest threat in the ACC right now. Like, nobody can stop them when they really get going. Everybody know the play. Everybody uh, know what they're supposed to do. And they all just execute and play as called. Nobody can stop them. What's the confidence level of this team like right now, 4 0, going into a bye week and starting ACC play? Well, it's definitely high, of course. You know, 4 0, haven't happened in a while. It's definitely high, but uh, we just got off the game in Youngstown. So uh, we got this bye week, we got people that's bruised up. And we got USC right after that, so USC already on the clock there. Uh, what do you know about Daniel's journey? And as a player, to see a guy who's persevered for six years to get a game like this, how is that appreciated in that room? Yeah, you know, since my freshman year, I always, like, always see him be doing good in practice, I always peep, you always making moves even before I, like, I've been here. And, like, you know, he never had as much opportunity or as much, you know, um, Opportunities in the backfield, like with all offense, he was mainly used as a fullback. You don't really get as much opportunities or rushing lanes coming from fullback. So, you know, this offense, you know, he definitely got some more uh, running back snaps. And, you know, the coach is always going to see him as a power back, but he, I definitely see DC as the more of a balanced type, you know, just a hard <coughs> power back. He definitely like make plays. Everything that he did today, he did those during you know, practice too. So I'm proud, I'm proud of him. You know, he finally showcased it, and that's definitely going to open more doors for him. I know he's going to take over that. How, Hi. What's your take on the stadium playing the Jaws and the music when you guys go out there on defense? Uh, my coach said something about that earlier today, but I didn't really believe it. <laughs> um, you know, uh, it's about like, what, late third quarter? And they played the Jaws music. I didn't really think they was going to do it for real. Uh, he said, coach said he was going to do it like, third down or something, they played it like as soon as defense came out. So I'm definitely messing with that. You know, Sharks definitely got way more stuff that we want to showcase and we're going to keep going. Did you hear it in the first half at all? It did in the first half too? Yeah, and then like two plays later, you and Rasheem came in for a tackle for loss. Well, you, you heard that, Ian? No, I heard the second one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ain't hit him. Uh, well, maybe because we were on the sideline the second time we played it. So we yeah, exactly. We'd be locked in on the field. But, yeah. <laughs> Uh, definitely got to keep that going. Um, definitely if the stadium or the announcers feel a play coming by the Sharks, then I definitely would love to hear that coming too. Kyle, uh, Coach Narduzzi has called you and Rasheem and Donovan the fixers on defense that you guys kind of come in and clean up whatever um, else has gone wrong. Yeah. How have you been able to elevate your play through like the first four games of the season that you, you're a guy that's not coming off the field very often either? Um, in terms of like what dude said with being fixers and stuff, us three, I feel like us three and main thing that we all got in common 
is that we want that ball, no matter what play calls being called. Like, you know, we're going to execute our job or whatever, but outside of executing our job, like, we want to go get that ball. We want to um, not say, like, get stats, but, you know, we want to make a difference. Like, we're not here to just do our job. We're here to make plays. So our main goal is where we make plays. You know, definitely got a job done, but at the end of the day, we want to go get the ball. We'll get two more for Kyle. Anything?